According to national statistics, one in four British adults experience at least one diagnosable mental health problem in any one year. Mixed anxiety and depression are the most common mental health problems in Britain. About half of the people with common mental health problems are no longer affected by their illness after 18 months from diagnosis, but for others, the symptoms of their illness can be severe and enduring. There are lots of different options for people diagnosed with a mental illness, and most mental health problems can be treated with input from local GPs. But some people need more support. Community mental health teams can help these people. They are teams of professionals who support people living in the community. I went to visit South East Community Mental Health Team, which is a service run by Oxfordshire and Buckinghamshire Mental Health NHS Foundation Trust, to find out more. Welcome to the South East Community Mental Health Team. My name is Sarah Jones and I'm Team Manager for the team. I'd like to tell you a little bit about our Community Mental Health Team and what we do. The Community Mental Health Team is a multidisciplinary team that provides specialist assessments, individualised treatments and uh, care for clients, uh, adults with mental health problems. We provide this care in the community and in their own homes. The Community Mental Health Team is made up of multidisciplines. We have consultant psychiatrists, occupational therapist, community psychiatric nurses, we have admin staff, we have social workers, we also have a rehab officer and a reviewing officer. How the community mental health team works is that should a person become unwell and present to the GP, the GP in the first instance would make a referral to our duty system. Our duty room, I always think, is our control centre. All the referrals that come into the team come in via the duty team. It's a particularly busy place because we never know what is going to arrive each day. The duty room is actually the um, function in the CMHT or the part of the CMHT that deals with referrals mainly. Whether the referrals are routine ones, urgent ones, or crisis ones, those that need immediate attention. Referrals are normally taken in the form of letters, well, through the fax machine, or through the telephone. And we normally receive referrals from GPs, from the community hospitals, sometimes from the police. But we also do take calls from um, friends and relatives of concerned, um, who are concerned about clients. We, we have referrals that will be dealt with there and then on the same day and we have some that we would actually process over a period of time because we need additional information, we need some old records there. Yeah. So in the light of that, um, each day anything can happen in that we can see any uh, patient or client, we can receive any type of referral and our job or role is to act um, appropriately and speedily so that they are taken up by the appropriate service as soon as possible. So we do a lot of risk assessing in here. We normally have to draw on other members of the team in terms of their professional um, judgment as well to help us to do our work effectively. Assessments in the CMHT is simply a tool we use to determine the needs of the client. Yeah? And we use that to plan and um, we usually do assessments, it could be at the client's home, at the GP surgery, or here at the CMHD site. Um, the, the thing what we like to do is get involved, to get the client's carers involved, to get their relatives involved. And it, it sort of like informs the, the history and, and the needs of the clients more. When a person has been assessed through our assessment clinic, we actually look at their needs and where possible, we actually try to allocate that person uh, a care coordinator, is, who is the person that will coordinate their care whilst in our services. We try to choose the care coordinator based on their, their skill base, but also the need. From there, an individualised care plan would be drawn up. When we're, when we're actually looking at our care plan for our clients, 
we also take into consideration re-engaging them with the community. We'd all also be working along their pathway to be looking at discharge and how best we could discharge them supported back into the community. One of the ways we do this is by actually running specialist groups within the community mental health team. This is run by the occupational therapists. As part of my visit to Buckinghamshire South East Community Mental Health Team, I met Nigel and Brenda. Nigel has a diagnosis of schizophrenia and as part of his treatment attends a structured programme of activities. Brenda, Nigel's wife, plays a big part in Nigel's care. Nigel told us more about the activities he does. Well, we, we do the walk. How many miles? Uh, about a mile and a half, two miles. Yeah. Are you enjoying it? Once I get there, yeah. <laughs> Once you get there, what happens on the Wednesday? What do you do on a Wednesday? Usually swimming. Right. And on a Thursday? Stop breathing. Again. Mm -hmm. But me coming out to your home yeah. to visit with you for the hour that we do, sometimes 30 minutes in your case because of the active voices, how does that benefit you, me coming to see you once a week? It helps. In what way? Uh, every way really motivate me. That's motivate you. Like, it's like getting me up in the morning, seven o'clock. Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. So we had some practical sessions where we were looking yeah. at practical things to get done. Yeah, we yeah? did, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And you know you're held. You feel that care. Even though we we tough with you. And That's that. right. I always say that. It's only because of care. <laughs> Okay, an outpatient appointment is for somebody who's not in hospitalised situation. They're at home, and basically you visit the community mental health your community mental health nurse uh, every few weeks or every couple of weeks, and have a exchange about how you're doing and just to check whether you need support in any way as part of your recovery process. So the outpatient clinic is um, it's an opportunity for the patient to come and see us and talk and express their views about uh, how they feel and what are the other issues that we need to review with them. Um, we also review their uh, social circumstances, if there is any financial problems, housing issues, um, uh, also uh, social needs, uh, things related to education, work, uh, social interaction. So it's really an overview of the whole circumstances of any patient. I think we are blessed. We have a very um, uh, down-to-earth, really caring manager. She is a person with a vision and um, she, she, she is quite positive in her approach and she is quite um, encouraging and, and that's what we want. We want somebody who will lead but can also you know, hold a caseload and, and can take that responsibility too. What I feel particularly proud of in this team is the workers work very generically as well as keeping their own skills. They're very supportive which is, a, is a, a huge requirement for working in a community mental health team. I don't know, I think it's brilliant. It's brilliant, mm. isn't it? Everywhere. So, which is why I doctor's say surgery. Mm. Mm. When we're looking to move, we want to be staying in the areas at which we can still stay with bucks. Mm. I think so. I mean, even with you being at Harlow House, they're there, they, they talk to you, they don't shut the door on your face. You're not just a number, you're a person. The Trust would like to thank the Community Mental Health Team staff, service users and carers who took part in this film.